stay away from the white door. Follow the shadow, it will keep you safe. Above all, don't run. If you breathe in this red mist, it's already too late. Hello there, internet dwellers. My name is Baz and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are reacting to an analog horror called White Door Files Comp 1 by Tex Moon. This was recommended to me on my Discord, but once I went to go find the person who recommended it, I could not find them for the life of me. They were right at the bottom of the pile and all of a sudden it's like the video was just deleted or something. I don't know what happened there, but thank you to whoever you are who recommended this. You did recommend episode one, I believe, but I decided I'll just check out a compilation just to see what it's all about. And this is a very very good series guys so be sure to check them out down below go show them support by liking the video subscribing watching their other videos they have a bunch of other videos you guys can watch and if you guys want to see more from this channel let me know in the comment section down below but without further ado we're going to jump straight into the video the state organization of anomalous figures presents a special informational material yeah how to behave in case of an anomalous incident such as currently we are able to distinguish two types of supernatural events belong to them mental events biological events huh psychic events are changes in the brain responsible for the perception of the environment they are responsible among others for the misplacements of objects or changes in the construction of rooms buildings okay. and space around the person affected by the anomaly most often, however, the anomaly occurs after a person has come into contact with a biological event. So it is quite easy to diagnose. Biological events are un I'm sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. How about you calm the fuck down? There's no need for it. What was that? Look at that thing. Bro's got a thigh gap, man. Biological events are unnaturally occurring plants. Creatures or humanoid figures seemingly resembling shapes familiar to humans. Okay. Focusing the attention of a potential victim. Any contact with the above mentioned facilities should be reported to the emergency number. Reporting the yeah. incident in detail is still possible. Any attempt to make physical contact with the anomaly is not allowed. I, I wasn't, I've got to say, I wasn't planning it. I wasn't planning on any physical contact with something that looks like Slender Man's cousin. Among the observed anomalous figures, we distinguish five forms. Okay. Traces, Headless, Nephilim, oh. Copy Man, Copy Man, Stretch. Stretch? Why stretch the Nephilim sound? The headless Traces, sounds. An anomaly appearing in the form of plants such as tall grass, bushes, or vines. Interesting. While the shape imitates the appearance of real plants. They are distinguished from the rest of the environment by almost complete black color and the lack of any shadow. Interesting. Although the anomaly is extremely rare, physical contact with it is usually accompanied by the symptoms of a psychic event. Okay. These symptoms disappear after at least six days. In extreme cases, they lead to... What? They lead to how? What the hell was that all about? What does that say? Appear mostly as humanoid beings, although often deformed, having no head. Despite this, they seem to be perfectly oriented in the field. The moment a potential victim spots an anomalous entity and gets close enough, it immediately rushes towards it. An encounter with this creature almost always ends with the head detaching from the rest of the body, oh. which the anomaly takes with it. So far, only 12 dead bodies without heads have been found. Only 12? That's, that's 12 more huge, than... Usually four-legged, bony creatures with grey-coloured skin. They have not been observed to have organs such as eyes, ears, or nose. However, they have an extremely well-hidden mouth in the head-like part of their body. Uh -huh. It is not uncommon for long, sharp, bone-like elements to protrude from the anomalous entity's body. However, they do not seem to hinder the movement of anomalies. Interesting. When a potential victim comes within range of the anomaly, usually within 100 to 300 meters, it begins to emit a long, rumbling sound. 100 to 300 meters, that's crazy. That's a, that's, do you know how big that, that long a distance that is? Once the victim is at least 20 meters. Have you ever run a 100 meter dash? Try running three of those. Here's from the anomaly. They begin to experience the symptoms of a psychic event. Shortly thereafter, the anomaly rushes towards the victim. Then, during a deafening, throws. Throws its own feces. So far, four anomalous creatures of this type have been recorded. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah. Copy Man is an anomaly appearing in the form of a human. It's a mimic. The original appearance of the anomaly is unknown, 
due to the fact that it uses dead human okay listen you can't keep doing that you can't just keep doing that what it what even changes there nothing the guy gets a bit of a tan uses dead human bodies to move over time the anomalous entity begins to affect human tissues causing them to expand or tear which consequently shows only a small part of its true appearance one such feature is white skin with visible muscles. The anomaly can move at tremendous okay. speed, but mostly lies in place, awaiting a potential victim. As a result of an incident on 081993, it was proven that the entity is able right. to communicate with humans, most often by imitating- Okay, another mimic then. Nice. Stretch. I gotta say, the one mimic that I really, really do enjoy is the one from uh, Greylock Horror. Because that, that mimic is fantastic. I think. A type of biological anomaly that is transmitted by touch and by droplets, interfering with the structure of the human body. Contact with the anomaly initially results in dizziness or loss of consciousness. Uh -huh. A few hours after the return of consciousness, changes occur in the skeletal system, quickly lengthening its elements, which after a while break through human skin, muscles and some internal organs. This painful process always ends with the death of a person within a week Jesus. of his encounter with the anomalous entity. No shit. As the bones grow, a red, viscous liquid begins to ooze from the damaged tissues, which dissipates in the form of smoke about an hour after leaving the body. Man, so you just see Snoop Dogg there inhaling the fumes. <laughs> Incidents involving this type of anomaly are usually accompanied by a previous visit to the place where the same red liquid was found along with the dead body. As a result of the stretch anomaly incident okay. on June 12, 1993, 146 people died. Jeez. While only five people were successfully isolated and transported to the facility for further observation. So I'm guessing the smoke did something to them, right? Like the smoke that, you know, uh, incidents involving this type of anomaly are usually accompanied by a previous visit. Okay. What does now, that say? We okay. can answer the right question how to behave in the case of an anomalous incident. First, look around. Find out what type of anomaly you are dealing with. Okay. If the anomaly is in sight, stay calm. Carefully move away from the anomaly, making sure it's not heading in your direction. Why do we have to live with these creatures? Find shelter. Mate, I would just, I don't know. Stay away from the white door. What's the white door? Follow the shadow. It will keep you safe. Okay, I don't know. Above all, don't run. Right. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think you could run even if you wanted to, by the sounds of it. The film recorded an anomalous entity, the Nephilim, located in the area of an old closed quarry in Poland. During the operation aimed at finding the anomaly and getting rid of the threat, no human was hurt. Cassette N2PL. What was that? Was that something there? Just smoke. Nephilim. What the hell was that? There's a can down there in that hole. That's a very convenient hole for a can. Why is there a can there? Oh, jeez. Look that way. Mate, why, why? Why are you going down there? I guess you got, it's like SCP, right? You want to contain it and you want to study it. Is that like feces? Feshes. Man, look at those. He look like he's wearing Doc Martens. God, this soldier's got fashion, man. Oh, wow, that's a pretty eerie. It's very, um... Stalker, is that the game? Ch Chernobyl, that Chernobyl game? Oof. Lutonic? More like lunatic, am I right, guys? Got him. I'm very lonely. Documents related to the May 10th, 1993 event relate directly to Object A02 and an unclassified anomalous object named Blubble. It is forbidden to copy, distribute, or interfere in any way with the content of the files contained in the above-mentioned documentation. Right. G Path of Jeremy? Who the hell is Jeremy? 
Jeremy's work, m w m he's Pitbull. He's Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> he's everywhere. He was in Russia. And he went down to Eastern Europe. Up to Middle Europe. I don't know where this is. I, I should know where that is, really. To the Through the UK, straight out of the UK. They've met freaking, uh, what's his name? Danny G from Smevik, Birmingham. Then they decided to go through, was it Iceland? Maybe? There's Iceland, Greenland. Greenland, Iceland, I think. Then all the way down to what? The South Pole. Dette er basen. Vi fant dette stedet. This is the base. Vi we found this dette place. A shad. For å være ærlig så hadde alt vært bra hvis det ikke var for at vi i tillegg til skåren har ferske spor her. Fresh traces. Det er ikke et dyr. That's a pyramid. Det er definitivt ikke menneskelig. The pyramid is haunted. I wonder how many actual pyramids there are in the world. Report on an actual taken by May 14th, 993. Because you, you hear about these secret pyramids in like the forests and stuff. In like, um, I don't know where they are, the Amazon or something like that. And then my conspiracy brain just flares up when I think of that stuff. Oh my god. We observed this situation and it did not fill us with optimism. Who are you? For example, because of the area that has been gradually degraded as a result of the crash of this something, they had no and we have no idea what it is either. They sent a probe, watched the surface, but nothing more. Right. We're just collecting information. They started to study it and mentioned its structure. They want to exploit it. <laughs> was on Earth. They oh, that didn't pause. Jeez. Began to think differently. All <clears throat> as if their fascination turned into a sick obsession. There were too many possibilities. At the moment, the only thing left is the fear that they will eventually do something that we will all regret later. Like what? What are they going to do, eh? Shoot us? Good luck. Telescope number two, Lutonic Research Facility, moon footage, 1993. What the hell is that? See, in the thumbnail, I thought that this was a tree. Uh, the, the silhouette of a tree over the moon. What's happened here then? Oh yeah, there was some, there was something there. Look, okay, so it's an antenna and like a road. Interesting. The collider was not prepared for this. Plans changed suddenly, but the tests went surprisingly well. Hmm. The new shards also provided a lot of new information. However, I am concerned about the way tests involving animals, not to mention humans, are conducted. What? At first everything was fine, but after a while their transformations began. Animals did not experience it as well as humans. After a few minutes they simply died. But those, they changed. They are not the same. They have lost consciousness and their former body. No, they are something more than humans. Okay. So they were experimenting on humans. Critical failure. Research room on level minus two cut off from power. Control Security breach. Inactive. In supernatural entity Damage vault. Damage to all five of supernatural objects vault has been detected. Oh my god. This is a huge bitch. Anomalous objects contain a block 3 wall 4 June 10th 1993. Holy crap. State organization of anomalous figures. Documentation dated June 12th 1993. Attention. Due to the growing biohazard of unknown origin, the people of Durain are asked to stay at home, close doors and windows. If possible, take shelter in an attic, on a roof or in a place 5 to 10 meters above the ground. In case of close contact with Category 4 hazardous biological waste, immediately isolate the infected person and report the case to the nearest medical facility. Where they the will shoot you promptly in the head. The figures informs 
Any incident resulting in the discovery of bodies should be reported without delay to the emergency number, referring to procedure B2. First of all, you should stay calm. Stay calm. Right. Stay calm, yeah. Yeah. So let me get this straight. I need to stop and pause. I don't know what I'm pausing there whenever I do that. I'm hitting the space bar. I need to get this right. So are these anomalies and entities the result of testing? I'm, I'm guessing so, right? They didn't just appear. Andara, Gontmo, Deerain, and Bowder counties were hit hard by the unnatural biohazard on the night of June 12th to 13th. According mm -hmm. to eyewitnesses, the arrival of the so-called red mist was sudden. Red Six mist? Minutes oh, dear. Midnight. The first oh, that smoke. Uh, is, is this talking about the smoke uh, of the stretch figure? Strange cases of illnesses and unnatural changes in the shape of the bodies of infected people began to Ooh. appear. There were also occasional reports of tall, deformed bodies appearing. Okay, so stretch. This was the result of a stretch. Missed. All records, reports, and documentation related to the deformed. Enormous creatures should be reported to the state anomalous figure organizations and Jeez. Are you tired from being the saddest and weirdest person on earth? All right, listen, just uh, why? Come on. Just what? Well, come on, man. I'm trying my best here. I was very targeted. How dare you? Now you don't have to. Oh, OK, sweet. This fantastic remedy has been recreated with the help of Lutanix Research Facility. Lutanix, mate. It's a, it's an acronym of like Lutanix. Thanks to the brilliant... It's not an acronym. What's the word? Is that an acronym? Where you switch the words around? Or is it an acronym like when the letter it represents... You know, it doesn't matter. Combination of liquid helium with a special type of psychodrine. You can feel much better today. Ugh. This wonderful drug guarantees you... Happiness. All right. Pride. Right. Losing excess weight. Oh shit! Sounds a little too Remember good to be to true. Use it every day. What are the side effects? Because I know these. The in America they run these medical uh, things, right? And they show like an old couple, an old like married couple, smiling and having a picnic with their kids, and it's something to do with like I don't know hemorrhoids or something. But the side effect is this may explode your anus, and it's just so happy. Possible side effects include. Oh, here we go. Excessive weakening of the immune system. There we go. I mean, there, there it is. Loss of consciousness. Okay, what the? F Bloody vomiting. Drying of the skin. Losing the ability to touch the ground. Holy shit! Oh, okay, because it's helium. Interest, interesting. You get feel, feel feeling it today. With heliocid. Why? Is that an actual thing being? Ma'am, are you good? How about you just talk this out? Okay, wow, this isn't helping anybody. Okay, this is starting to sound a little bit sus now. Can we move? Nice! Okay. Well, I'm sure everything was fine Thanks there. Older products. She was just screaming with excitement. That's what was happening there, guys. Earth. Home to billions of living creatures. The third planet in the solar system in terms of distance from the sun in antiquity and the middle ages, it was considered the center of the universe. It is also the only planet with life. I call Cap. There's definitely other planets out there with life. Guaranteed. Which is crazy to think about. Moon. Earth's only natural satellite. It is the fifth largest moon in the solar system. Satellite? natural satellite oh, it, go, like, it is observing us the whole time the moon died the white door has been opened is the white door 
What in the name of Jesus? Jeremy is awake, not again. We're we talking about the same Jeremy that went on a freaking, I don't know, world tour. Pitbull. Jeremy is awake. There was something at the bottom there I couldn't read. It's not a very threatening name, Jeremy. Our universe is full of wonderful planets. It is so big that one day people start to wonder if there is any other life in space. I'm positive there probably is. And imagine that though, because I was just thinking about that, guys. We have a whole history on this earth. Everything we know and everything we base our things off is based off of logic from this earth or, you know, research, experiments from this earth. Imagine going to a completely different planet where all their views are completely different. They probably speak different languages. You could introduce them to so many awesome things. They've sent probes, watch the surface, but nothing more. Another life found humans. Oh, interesting. The dead blind sphere found the forgotten children. We're talking about the moon again. Amnestics have been used en masse to prevent panic and hysteria around the world. All data on the Lutanic Research Center have been archived. The state organization of anomalous figures documented and secured the research facility along with the equipment found. Benjamin Fisher, Project Shad supervisor responsible for the damage to the containment walls for anomalous objects, has been arrested on charges of conducting experiments resulting in human death. My god. His behavior did not seem normal. Uh, since being arrested and transported for questioning, he has not spoken a single word. So one of those Nazi scientists. Gaunt, Moe and Durain counties have been decontaminated. What was that? Wow. Like a painting that was. August 20th, 2003. Kan Kandara National Park. A person named Tyler Hudson was walking in the National Park. He was reported missing in the afternoon. The next day in the morning, his torn body was found. A mobile phone was found next to him, along with recordings made on the same day. 2003? Man, yeah, you're rocking with, uh, I don't know what phones were around there. What, Sony, Sony Ericsson's? Where was he going? Silent Hill? Why, what's with the ambience? Between August 22nd and August 25th, five people were reported missing in the National Park. Only one dead body had been found so far. And I'm guessing that was that dude. They're waiting. Who's waiting? What is it with national parks and people going missing? Is it just people losing their way on a trail? Or is there some kind of civilization living underneath in the caves, just snatching us all up? Because there was an interesting kind of like uh, thing where it shows the map of national parks and the. Or like it shows national parks. And where people are going missing and it shows like a cave system under each national park as if people are going missing in these caves or whatever Pot potential possible caves oh dear was he teleported then oh could these be the little um leaves or grass that they were talking about in the first little uh, bit of this video. God looks like he's tripp tripping on acid. What?
You know, this this reminds me before this reaches its crescendo. It reminds me of uh, a time I went out on my own through these woods, through this farm. I went over this bridge, and then there was this like house in the middle, just a house. It looked more like a castle in the middle of nowhere. And I remember just walking up this kind of path and seeing all these weird, weird things. It was almost like some kind of cult was living there. And I thought, I just got this such a bad feeling that I thought, you know what? I'm going back. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this. Oh, there was another, uh, a little video thing there. Should we, should we search this up? Let me quickly search this up. This is a, this is a whole ass ARG. Well, I don't think it's an ARG. It, it just brought me to this. State Organization of Anomalous Figures. SOAF is an international organization dealing with capturing and securing anomalies that do not occur naturally in the environment, which may pose a threat to life on Earth. Similar to SCP. Due to recent reports and sightings, we remind you that if you find unidentified bodies possibly affected by anomalies, you should immediately contact the emergency number referring to procedure B2. Remember not to panic in the event of an anomalous incident, find shelter and above all stay calm. Latest attention due to the increase in activity of the traces anomaly, we advise you to remain calm and cautious if you observe it. And this is the collider, right? Jeremy is awake, copy man is another being now, not even similar to human. Henry is still keeping the human minds aware. I don't know who Jeremy is and I don't know who Henry is. Jeremy was that person that went on some kind of crusade around the world. Uh, Henry, I don't know. He's working with William Afton, for all I know. Yeah, this is the freaking... Isn't this the transit song from Call of Duty? Uh, yeah, Zombies. Or it's a similar song. Where the hell is this guy? Okay. Nice. So I'm guessing the woods is the traces thing. Like all the grass. The hell was that? All right, I am not decoding that. I'm not good at decoding things. Welcome to the InSound Theory. Hi, how's it going? Everything around us makes a sound. Even if we are unable to hear it, it can significantly affect the environment. Right. The in-sound theory assumes that with the appropriate... Okay, so if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, did it make a sound? ...the selected frequency of sound. With its help, we are able to see and feel much more than before. Okay, I don't think I want to do that. Among the waves, we can mention four basic ones that we are able to obtain with the help of electronic equipment. Who the hell is that guy? Sine, square, sawtooth, triangle. They're the different types of... The Who was that? Theory was that Henry or Jeremy? ...took care of safety and in cooperation with the Lieutenant Company obtained a new type of wave that physically affects the environment. The manipulator. The manipulator? I know one of those. A wave composed of several types of waves with relatively low frequencies, as well as a special tone generated with the help of the most modern equipment. The new sound waves react with the environment, transferring the recording along with the image to the scanner, where we are able to observe what we are not able to see with the naked I'd eye. I'd rather not. So it, it transfers sounds into images. That looked like a, hang on, was there something there? Oh no, I thought there were eyes just here, but it's just lights. Looks like a like a little cornfield or like a flower field. Field of flowers. Field of wheat. Trees of May would live it. Damn. Okay. Okay, this looks like one of the uh headless things. Either the headless or the previously affected by an anomalous mental type incident. Could you again describe exactly what you saw? Calm down. Take your time. Calm down. You know how traumatic such an event can be. Is this I, him there? I don't like... think I anticipated it. I already told you. That fluttering sound and the wind. <laughs> that feeling. Can you describe it more precisely? What did you see? Butterflies. Butterflies. 
Okay, what's the connection? What's the connection here? Is this an anomaly that we don't know of yet? What is this? Some Disney ass. What was that? Uwaga! Komunikat dotyczy województw łódzkiego. Okay, gee, you know what? Um, this is why I have a Google Pixel. Let me just quickly. Okay, this is what this says here, guys. It says, "Attention! The announcement applies to the L O D Z and Greater Poland Voivod ships." According to recent reports, anomalous entities have been observed in the above-mentioned Vavoyj ships. Using a classification of anomalous entities written by the American SOAF agency, civilians are asked to stay at home and close windows and doors tightly. If you see any tall, deformed creatures, please call the emergency number, referring to standard procedures for anomalous incidents. The alarm is valid until June 5th, until the supernatural threat is eliminated. Here we go, we skip that, guys. I'm Polish. Who'd have thought? What did I say? Ni uch tech. Audit record of June 5th, 2004, Greater Poland Voivode ship, Type 3 Nephilim. Oh my god, all right, I'm doing a bit of homework here, man. Okay, you know what, fine, I'm, I'll, I'll put the effort in, it's fine. I'll do it so you guys don't have to, okay? Record 32 log, control group, search for anomalous traces. Tim, hey, Mag, did you hear about those two teenagers who were exploring that old tunnel? Mag, what happened? Tim, while they were supposed to stay home like everyone else, the government displayed a special message, but they decided to go anyway. Did Tory to the end of the tunnel and they found a dead body. Mac, a dead body is actually the last thing I expect here. Wait, was there anything else? Tim, we had a report. The record, the recording showed that they also saw this strange headless figure. Mac, hmm, what do you think it is? Tim, I have no idea. It came one day and the message started. The whack tack mentioned a mountain in the Kandara state. Mac, did any of them even survive? Tim, one, the second one got way too close. They found his body a week ago in a field. Good God. Was that the the, audio, the recording we saw before then? So they came across a headless. Oh God, there's more. Tim, you hear it? Mac, do you think it's Nephilim? Tim, probably I haven't seen any of them. Mac, look there. Tim, fuck, huge. Mac, report it. We need support. Tim, wait. Is that light? Do they have a glowing head instead of a head? <laughs> Mac, I don't remember that. Tim, like a walking lighthouse. Mac, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It didn't translate properly. He's coming at us. Tim, Group C, we are reporting a type 3 anomaly Nephilim near the village. He's running at us. Move up. Right, let's listen to this. Okay, I was expecting it to be a little bit more panicked than that, but I'm guessing it's it must be a AI voice. The day that AI can properly like regulate emotions, or you can program the emotions into them. Like, I guess you probably there are probably is things you, where you can like Eleven Labs is pretty close to doing something similar. But the, when you can start like giving them emotions and you know like programming them to say like you type in so it can to tell them to say this in a certain way, that's it, man. It's all game over. The recording was found on a memory card in the phone which was secured with evidence from February 17, 2006. An unknown person looking around the abandoned building came across an anomaly of type 3, I'm guessing. Other recordings on the memory card suggest that the person survived an encounter with the anomaly. Ooh. Here we go. So this is the recording.
Oh man. I've only ever been in one abandoned place when I was little. You know, you don't really see many abandoned places. Um, well, not near me anyway. There's a, there's a load of them though. I know there are, but I haven't seen one in so long. Like I remember walking through one when I was little. It was something called a Lauren factory or something like that. And it was just complete rubble. Ah! Everything was overgrown with vegetation. It's not easy to get there, but somehow oh I'll find a way. This no. can give us a lot of information. That trace is my dude. To know what Jeremy is. That's an odd name for such a creature. The agency has already started snooping around too, but I think I'll be able to dig up the truth soon. They hid it from us. Right. No one knew and no one was supposed to know what was going on in their shitty research facilities. But hey, the sun rises and slowly... So, my guess is, they were doing experiments. And they did one experiment on a thing called Jeremy, that they named Jeremy for some reason. I don't know why they named it. You know what, I'm, I'm getting stuck on the name. But this thing escaped, and that's what that explosion thing was. And maybe it was the red mist as well, maybe that... But then again, that was a stretch. Is Jeremy different to all the other anomalies? Is it like its own thing, its own type of anomaly? He reveals the truth from the depths of darkness. I just hope it's not too late. I miss him. Right. Okay, so maybe I can... Can I piece together what was happening there? So it started off straight away saying that there was anomalies, right? Four different types or five different types of anomalies. And I guess we learned that it was some place in Poland was doing this they were experimenting on different anomalies or whatever they're like SCP where you know they go out they get anomalies that are a threat to earth they bring them back and they study them but they must have got hold of one that broke out of contamination and then went on a world tour and they you know they're trying to and I'm guessing wherever it goes it spreads whatever it has maybe Jeremy is like the form of all of the anomalies together it's like like in terms of um you know Vita Carnis with the little seedling was what's that thing called the the you know the little thing that drops it's like a tree that drops seeds is it similar to that i guess but that was good i enjoyed that hopefully you guys did too if you did be sure to go and subscribe to Tex Moon. That was really cool. Like the video, all that good stuff. Like I said, there is a one hour 20 version of this. I'm guessing I'd have to skip like 30 minutes worth because it's probably going to be uh, similar stuff to this. But yeah, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know down below. If you enjoyed my reaction, why not leave a like rate and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. As always, you guys are amazing. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.